Well, um, well, first off, I was supposed to be here 30 years ago. I was stuck out on the East Coast, and uh, I finally uh, made my way out to, to Oregon uh, in Portland about three years ago. Surprisingly enough, uh, I had uh, come, come across some striking things that were qu quite alarming uh, and uh, things that were uh, concerning uh, to me, um, uh, having to do with uh, testing. Uh, test technology um, and what I found since I've been here is number one I started having these uh, uh, not illusions but actual hearing uh, uh, hearing things around me that never happened before and um, it started very subtle exactly yeah. prior to this I Didn't had happen. never come across any type of hearing things uh, and anything along those lines mm -hmm. and uh, uh, these things that I was hearing were uh, having to do with uh, smearing like a smear campaign and I started coming across uh, people that were trying to smear me uh, in Portland and I didn't know why this was going on I didn't know how it, why it was happening or how it was happening all that I knew is that it concerned me. Mm -hmm. um, they were false, what was spoken, most of them. Some of them were, were true, uh, that they spoke of Portland. Uh, well, yeah, I did, because one, uh, to make a long story short, these, these sort of increased into actually uh, connecting with uh, third eye projections that many people have anyways. Mm -hmm. um, but I was having these third eye projections that I could actually see that were sent up from parallels below us. And that's part of the whole testing, uh, testing uh, thing. It's, it's, they're using screenshots and third eye projections to test on people in a public thoroughfare. And that was my main issue, that this was occurring. And it's not just me. Many, many people in Portland and other test areas of the state have been suffering from this. Right. That's right, exactly. true. There's a ton. There's a ton of people who have heard about this. There's a ton of people that have been dealing with it for mm -hmm. quite some time. And um, needless to say, um, it seems to follow me where I go. Um, I, I, what, what I do is I transfer these spirit forms that are in these parallels below into me and up and out. To untrap them from below, which sounds weird, and uh, it is weird. Like really. a channel. Like a channel, exactly. And I channel these energies up into me and then up into the ether um, to untrap them, um, to help for our next lifetimes, and uh, also to just help people in general, you know, because these spirit forms are connected to many in the area, and actually many that have come way before we did. Well, because I'm I'm on Aaron, uh -huh. and uh, I have a close connection to our second coming, Jesus. Uh -huh. um, and I wasn't named Aaron by accident. Um, yeah, it's it gets kind of really arcane and and uh, different talking about this. And I know it might seem a little bit out there and and uh, far out, but it's uh, it's actually. Much truth has come out because of this whole thing with the test technology uh -huh. that people are finding some of these secrets that have went, you know, un not talked about in our country and others are finally coming to light now because of this. All right, when, when we are made and sent here, our mm -hmm. spirit forms can be anywhere from colossal to very small if from afar. You know, the further away. You are and sent here, usually the smaller they are. Well, we, we have parallels to many places. Um, and because of these parallels, we, um, we connect with these, these areas that are away 